Hello kids, I hope you all are keeping well and taking good care of yourself. So today we are going to start the first chapter of geometry of class 6 that is chapter number 4 basic geometrical ideas part 1. So moving ahead let's know what are the things you are going to learn in this section of the chapter. We are going to learn about point, line, types of line, line segment, ray and lastly curves. Let's know what is a point. A point is a mark of position. It is the most basic geometrical figure from which other geometrical figures originate. A point is always denoted by a capital letter of English alphabet. A point has no length, breadth or thickness. As you can see in the adjoining figure, A, B and C are three points on a plane surface. Next comes line. A straight path on a plane extending endlessly in both the directions is called a line. A line has no starting or end point. Lines are of three types. Parallel lines, intersecting lines and perpendicular lines. As you can see in the figure, AB is a line. It is represented with the two capital letters of English alphabet with a double headed arrow mark on their top. Now let's learn about the types of lines. Parallel lines. Two lines on a plane surface which never meet each other at any point are called parallel lines. Real life examples of parallel lines are railway tracks, opposite sides of a window or desk, floors and ceilings. Kids, have you ever seen these lines meeting each other at any point? No. So these are the perfect examples of real life parallel lines. As you can see in the adjoining figure AB and CD are two parallel lines. Next intersecting lines. When two lines cross each other in a plane they are called intersecting lines. The intersecting lines share a common point at which they cross each other and that point is called the point of intersection. As you can see in the figure, AB and CD are two intersecting lines and they cross each other exactly at the point I. So I is called the point of intersection. Next comes perpendicular lines. A line is perpendicular to one another if it meets or crosses it at right angles that is 90 degree. As you can see in the figure AB and XY are a pair of perpendicular line. They intersect each other at a point where they form 90 degree. Some real life examples the window pans, a four square, the floor tiles are all real life examples of perpendicular lines. Next comes line segments. A line segment is a part of a line 
between two end points. A line segment has a definite length. We can easily measure a line segment. As you can see, I have shown you in the given figure, AB is a line segment which is a part of a line. And you can easily measure AB with a measuring scale. Next comes rays. Before we start to rays, can you tell me why do you see say that sun rays? Why don't you say the light of the sun? It is because the sun is a point from which the light source scatters all around indefinitely. So ray we can define as a part of a line with a start point but has no end point is called a ray. A ray does not have a definite length. Real life examples, the rays of the sun, rays coming out from a torchlight. As you can see, P is the point from which the ray PQ extends endlessly in one direction. So, PQ is a ray. Next comes curves. A curve is a continuous and smooth flowing path without any sharp turns. Curves are the pictures that are results of your doodling. If a curve does not cross itself, then it is called a simple curve. The simple curve is of two types, open curve and closed curve. You can see in the figure there are various examples of curves. Open and closed curves. Open curves. An open curve is a curve where the beginning and the end points are different and they do not meet each other at any point. Can you see in the figure, in none of the figures do the starting point and the end point meet each other. All the figures have different starting point and different end points. Now let's see what are closed curves. Closed curve is a curve with no end points and which completely encloses an area. Can you see? Closed curves are complete figures. You cannot identify which is the starting point and which is the end point. So such figures are called closed curves. Thank you kids. See you in the next session.